Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Healing Conversations. My name is Einav Avni. I'm an energy healer and a coach and I mainly work with people with chronic pain and chronic illness to help them heal and reduce the pain by talking about their emotions and the root cause of what brought it on. Um, so this podcast is for you and I'm sure every one of you will pick up a gift, um, something to inspire you. So please sit back, open your heart, and let's see what you get from the podcast. And let's let's get started. So with me today, the wonderful Nila. Hello, Nila. So lovely hey, to have you. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. It's really nice to have you with us. But let's let's get started. I'm really curious about the conversation today. Um, tell us a little bit about you. Right. So where do we start? Uh, I was born in India in a patriarchal society. And I had to plow through life, uh, you know, overcoming all the boundaries and um, and the limitations set for a girl from uh, uh, from a very small village, <laughs> yeah. right? And then I moved to UK. I was in UK for about twenty years now. I'm in US, and I'm a postgraduate engineer. I run an IT company, and I also do. Uh, the spiritual healing work so that means i am in both extremes left brain extreme of left brain where i work with corporates and extreme of right brain where i work with with the spirit you know, with the divine so that's the synopsis of it to give you a little bit more detail i started my spiritual journey back in 1997 when i lost my baby it was really really a bad time for me very intense i hit the rock bottom i would say i didn't know why i was living and then i started learning uh, healing um like i started with reiki and uh, now i probably learned more than 50 different modalities i'm still open to learning and i have channeled uh, one on my own which is called likey wellness system which is in about 140 countries now uh, so um, learning doesn't stop and the universe is expanding all the time. We catch up with it if we are open. So that's where I am right now. I'm happy to share whatever I know, whatever uh, information I have with you all. Yeah, yes, please. Um, I'm, I'm more, I must say I'm more, more interested in the spiritual healing than the, you know, software engineering type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So tell me, how, how do you come to, to invent your own methods and, and, and teaching it? How, how did that come about? All right. So, you know, I was uh, feeling very out of sorts in the sense I never fit in anywhere. Ever. Never. <laughs> yeah. So I was always feeling, you know, a feeling like an alien. And I was always trying to, uh, you know, either try very hard to fit in or try to escape wherever I was. That's how it was. It was very emotionally, it was very uh, stressful for me just being on the planet. So I started learning. I wanted to fix myself. I thought, you know, I there was something wrong with me. That's why I'm, uh, I wasn't able to fit with anybody else. But now I know that you don't have to fit in <laughs> because every one of us is different. And we are we are infinite, right? We are infinite. We just have a body. We the infinity cannot be fit into anything. There is no definition. There is no boundary for this infinity, this infinite spirit. So that's my knowing now. But then I didn't have this feeling, this knowing. So I was trying to fix myself. I would learn a um, healing modality. I would release something that will take me to a, a space. And then it won't work for me anymore. So I had to look for something else. <laughs> so that's how my journey was trying to fix myself until I came to the awareness that there is nothing to fix. Absolutely, there is nothing to fix. When there is nothing to fix, can you fix yourself? Absolutely not. You cannot, right? <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to fix. That is why I was going on the hamster wheel. But then I came to the understanding that, okay, so there is nothing to fix. I am unique. I am infinite. So let's accept, embrace the divinity. Yeah. And that's how the downloads started for me. So initially, uh, I was given some information 
uh, about light keys, high vibrational symbols from Mother Mira Alpha. So, uh, I mean, she is just behind me in the photograph there. Uh, and then I got uh, a lot of lot more information from other light beings as well. I wasn't very uh, forthcoming with uh, information. I was using it myself, and then I was giving it to my private session clients. But only in 2019, I had the courage to uh, roll it out to other people. So the high vibrational uh, symbols that we call light keys are uh, helpful, very, very helpful for us to reset our brain to higher vibration, to function as the master of our own universe. So it is very, very empowering system that uh, we have via light key wellness system. So when you say very, very powerful and, and we can ask about our own systems, but what can you give me an example? What what can I, if I was to learn this method, what will I learn? How what okay. will it be like? Right. So you will, uh, there are about 100 courses, but don't, <laughs> you don't have to take any of it. We have about four or five core courses. So we will have some high vibrational symbols that you can practice. So practicing is like with paper and pen. When we do that, basically you are retraining your mind to higher vibration. Okay, it's a 33-day journey, that's what we say. So you take a paper and pen and you draw those symbols uh, for about, uh, let's say, five to 10 minutes a day. That's all it takes. And when you finish 33 days, your brain is rewired. And even halfway through, you will find shifts. And we also have frequencies, high vibrational frequencies that you can command. You just call and command them to do stuff for you. So for example, people have used the vibrations to fix uh, uh, AC, which wasn't working, to fix the um, uh, printer that wasn't working, to create more revenue streams, to create better health, etc. So these are all very, very simple tools that anybody can use to change the life. So basically, it is like the universe comprises of many elements, right? With many, uh, we are all droplets in that ocean. So like that, if every one of us has unique capacities like that. The frequencies have unique capacities as well. When we tap into that frequency and when we command the frequency to do something for us, we are being the master, okay? We are saying, okay, all these elements are available for me. Now I'm taking in charge. I'm commanding the universe to do something. I'm not begging. I'm not feeling like a victim of, uh, of the life or the universe, but I am commanding these elements that are already available for me in my universe to do something for me. So you step into taking responsibility, ownership for creating your life and using these tools, using these elements that are available for you, the more you use, the better you find that they are working for you. Then you don't even have to command explicitly. You just think things happen. You are just being an invitation, being the master. So that's how it has been. Well, that sounds amazing. And uh, <laughs> but when you say uh, when you just command, I, I, I mean, is this what I would normally call intention? Is that the same kind yes, of thing? It is, it the... is intention and also awareness. You know, what is available for us? Which element can um, contribute to us at this point? So, for example, if you and I are talking, it's it's not just intention, but it is also awareness that we awareness that we will contribute to each other and to others as well. So that awareness of, okay, which tool, which frequency can help me here now? Not just being passively, um, pass not, not just being passive and have intention. It's also being aware and taking action. Right, and so, so I, I um, wait, my brain is telling me too many questions. Uh, <laughs> So then I guess just going back for a second to what you were saying about the um, the drawings and things that you're doing for 10 minutes a day. So that's obviously, as you say, to rewire, rewire your brain. Yes. 
does that do you do any any intentions or anything or mantras or anything as you do no, that or? no no so you do this for just 33 days and you know some people have done for 99 days some people do occasionally after 33 days as well but during 33 days you are just going to draw this you can even listen to music you can do anything you don't have to focus you are just to do that's all it is nothing else it is not uh, effort intensive or focus intensive so just okay. by drawing you are actually giving instruction to the brain that hey this is available to us and you can now open up to mastery right so so what you're saying is that when when we're doing these drawings we actually Letting go. That's what I'm th I'm feeling, right? We're letting go of some things and, and, and we're able to yeah, just see see what happens from that, right? Yeah. Um so so when you say about we can give command to the universe, I mean and and you know I, I told you I'm I'm very interested in, in healing or, or helping people with uh, chronic pain or chronic illnesses. Yeah. Someone I mean, is that is that one command that uh, people can can give to the universe to heal them and and give them their health back? There is a command, definitely. But the one thing I need to tell you is um, everybody has, um, everybody experiences life differently. Everybody has different vibration they are uh, uh, vibrating at right now. Yeah. So even if I give command, a general command, Everybody is going to experience it differently. For people, the pain has come down from 10 to 2 with just one command. For some people, it comes from 10 to 9 and then 9 to 8. For some people, it doesn't come down, which is very rare, of course. Yeah. So that I need to tell you. If something is not working for you, it may not be with the tool or process you are using. It's also about you, your willingness to change. So um, there is nothing that we cannot change according to me, but sometimes we may have to work on the underlying unconsciousness, okay? But the command I'm going to give is very gentle. It's going to work wonderfully for most people. So if you have a pain, I would now, right now recommend to probably um, assess it in zero to 10 scale, 10 being the maximum that you cannot just wear, zero being nothing, okay? Got it? I'm, I'm just going to have to ask you to say that again because there was some noise from the outside and I, I completely oh. missed that last part. Please repeat that. Sure, yeah, okay. So if you would like to uh, work on this right now, what you can do is right now, tune into your body and assess the intensity of the pain. 10 being the worst pain you have ever experienced, zero being nothing okay so in the, in this range where is your pain right now just assess it this is an optional step of course but it will help you to kind of baseline and see your progress so when you see the progress you are motivated more to use the tools that, that's the only reason okay so if you have already the number just take three deep breaths through the nose out through the mouth it's just to ground you just to um, be aware of your body. Okay. Now focus on the inside of your spine. Again, this is to bring awareness to your body. Okay. Just bring your awareness to the inside of your spine. You don't have to focus the spring. Now I'm going to use a couple of commands. You don't have to do anything. Don't have to focus. Just open up and receive, relax. The more you relax, the commands will work better, okay? Light matrix. Clear, cancel, and transmute. All this density and intensity into lightness, peace, and health generating possibilities. 
Just relax. You can see that I'm yawning already. So that means energy is moving. Let's do some variation of these commands. Light matrix. Clear, cancel and transmute. All the density and intensity in the body into life generating possibilities. Joy. And peacefulness. Light matrix, clear, cancel, and transmute all this unconscious unconsciousness into space, lightness, and kindness. Okay, now tune in and sense how your pain is doing. What is the intensity? Even if it has come down by 0 0.5 um, 5 in the scale, there is a change, right? The moment you acknowledge it, you are taking responsibility for it because you are the one who has changed it, right? Nobody, not me, not the commands. You are the one who is receiving it. You are the one via intention, via the action, changing it. So the more and more you start acknowledging it, then it becomes easier for you. It, it becomes natural for you. Whatever is working for you, you can change it. But the basis is taking responsibility for whatever is in your life right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for receiving everyone. <laughs> it's so interesting. I'm definitely feeling, you know, calmer and more tuned in. That's that's okay. very definitely I can feel that. Okay. And uh, and how how interesting. And of course, as you say, people with with pain, even you know, point five reduction is quite yeah. You know, yeah, we've used, you know, three commands for probably 60 seconds or 90 seconds. You can actually do a longer period of time. You don't have to really, you know, make it uh, very hard or very intense, but have this command and use it occasionally or sit down with it for five minutes. Just say this command, sit with, it, with this for 10 seconds and again repeat it sit with that, allow the command to work for you and um, do more if required. You know, sometimes lesser is more efficient. Mm. It's not always more is more. <laughs> because sometimes it means that you, do, you are not trusting the process. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so you will do that for, for healing as well as manifestation, you know, manifesting, you know, richness yeah. and new ac and <laughs> absolutely you know i have had many um, magical uh, uh, magical manifestation with this command i was using this command slightly differently my my uh, my in the most used command is i use you know uh, like me to clear cancel and transmute all this into um, giggles gold and happy hormones <laughs> okay I like to laugh a lot and happy hormone is good for the health and gold. I love gold. Okay. So I was, I, I was using it quite a lot. Uh, and when I was in UK um, in March, we were clearing out our home. I found seven gold rings that I thought I lost them in India, mm. in India. <laughs> okay. So that's how miraculous this command can be for you. Yeah, yeah.
And someone um, left a comment saying that was lovely. Thank you, Nila. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thanks for receiving. Please use it and share it with your family. Yes, I have right. a YouTube channel where you know I do a lot of meditation with Light Matrix, and you can find them. It's called Nila Mystic TV on YouTube. Yes, I will definitely make sure that I, I uh, subscribe, and also, of course, thank I will you. share all, all of the information um, below the chat. Um, so, so I just wanted to. So, the, the title of the talk was about losing limitations and, and turning them into joyful uh, manifestations, and and I have a sense of why why this is this is this was called that. But uh, anything to add on top of that? Of Absolutely, that yeah. So, anything that's not working for you, yeah. So, it can be pain, or it can be lack, it can be debt, or you know, harmful relationship. Anything that's not working for you is our creation, right? Anything. So it's through choices, unconscious, subconscious, or whatever. It's our creation. When we acknowledge that you have the energy that you have invested in creating all this as your toolkit now, it's the energy. So pain is just an energy. We are the one who is la labeling this is good, that is bad, this is anger, that is frustration, etc. But if you look at the you look at uh, the underlying energy, it's all the same. It's just energy. When you do not label, it's just the raw energy. You can use that energy for anything. So that is the basis for light matrix commands. So anything that's not working for you. Tap into that, look at the energy and you, you don't even need to know how and what energy, just tap into the limitation you have. Look at the intensity that is arising. It can be emotional intensity, physical intensity, just look at it. Get the energy of it, get the sense of it and then use light matrix command to transmute. Transmutation is basically changing something into something better. Again, you know, for better, good, or just labels. But whatever is working for you, let's call it as better. Okay, so yes. if pain is not working for you, spaciousness and harmony or, you know, um, vitality is better for you, right? So choose something that is better for you and transmute this energy into that joyful manifestation. It's really simple and it works. All you have to do is be open and use the command. I love that. <laughs> it's not working, so change it. You know, yeah. it's <laughs> really easy, very simple. I know all these, all these uh, years I have been uh, taught or, you know, I have been in the path of clearing something and creating something, right? Always clear, release. But this is just one step. You use it to create something better. You don't have to clear everything. You don't have to create something new. Just use what is available for you to just to transmute. Simple, easy, and effective. I love that. I really love that. It's, a, it's giving me so many things to think about and to, <laughs> to, to, to say yes you know of course why not it's it's exactly it right it's it's all energy and if you yeah. you just need to to understand the energy that you have now and if it's not working for you find you know change the energy basically yeah. change it into something that does work for you absolutely yeah amazing Nina, this has been such a pleasure to talk to you and to learn more about what you do thank you thank you so much thank you so much uh, <laughs> um so yeah, any any last any last something before we, we we leave and before i um going to share all your your links and everything uh, right so i have talked a lot and uh, in in my youtube channels and i also offer a lot of complimentary sessions so i recommend that uh, you know just check out my youtube channel and also my website infinitehealing.co.uk where we have four free courses and we also offer 15 minutes uh, free consultation for anyone who's interested in knowing more uh, to guide guide you so um, even if you are not going for a, a core course you can check out our free courses you know they are really good and one thing that i would strongly recommend is 
uh, kindness medicine. <laughs> That's a free course. You heal yourself with radical kindness. <laughs> yeah, we have some meditations. We have some uh, commands like, you know, these life matrix commands. Wonderful to learn and use it for you. I love that. Kindness medicine. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you so much, Neela. I really, really enjoyed uh, speaking with you. And I will be, I am sure to check out all of the resources that you've mentioned. Um, yes. So like I said, I'm going to put all of your links at the bottom of this chat and everywhere else. Uh, and for everyone else watching the live or the replay, let us know what you thought, any comments, any questions, please um, reach out and let's, let's have more conversations. Thank you so much, Neela and everyone. Thank you. Thank you.